Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review and today I am reviewing the Castus with speeder bike. Alright, that's light that light is just killing me. I gotta turn this thing off. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so if you saw my two videos ago you know that I um picked all these deluxe packs up at a Toys R Us in Lexington. I didn't tell you Lexington last time, but uh, yes, yeah, so it was in Lexington. And uh, picked up Castus and a few other deluxe packs and a few other items. So give me a minute to unbox Castus and I will start this review. Okay, so Castus with his feeder has been unboxed and like always before I take a look at the figure, we take a look at the packaging or in this case the new deluxe packaging. So I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just a really cool, all in all, just picture of Cassis. That, that pre yes, that is, uh, that does look pretty photoshopped. I'm not sure if there was just a screenshot that they could have photoshopped, but uh, that's definitely photoshopped. But it's a very, very nice render. And uh, give me a second, I'll get the older deluxe packaging for you. Here's the older deluxe packaging, sorry the top's off, but as you can see we've got curves on both sides, slants, but in this case we have, set that down there, we have one curve or slanted side like we did on the old ones, but on the other side we've got like a flat side, so I think that adds a pretty cool look to it, once again nice uh, image of Castus there. Um, pretty really, just really, really cool. Nice background in there. I'm sorry, I can't remember the episode, but I wasn't Death Trap. It was R2 Come Home, where the uh, Jedi, where they, Anakin and Mace went down to uh, search for the Jedi the cruiser to see for any survivors, and their. Uh, Castus and uh, Boba, Ara, or uh, and Bosk were um, already on that planet, planning to kill Mace. So that's where that's where that background came from. Sorry, I can't remember the name of the planet. It'll come to me later. But uh, so we got the nice render of Castus, and then we've got the back picture of Castus, picture of the other deluxe figures in the wave. So all in all, it's pretty cool. He's got a little description. I'll read that for you. Cassius pilots a speeder bike to hunt down his prey. This speeder bike is fast and lightweight, a suitable vehicle for hunters to chase anyone fleeing from capture. Bounty hunters like Cassius prefer these bikes for their front-mounted blasters and hidden side blasters. That's cool. So, once again, that's the packaging. Alright, so now, let's take a look at the figure. Pretty cool, I think. Uh, I think it's a really, really nice figure. I do th have some things that I wish Hasbro could improve on, but before I'll just like let you look at the entire thing before I go ahead and start naming things that I don't like about it. But we've got a really nice face sculpt, bike sculpt is a really nice bike paint job. Um. As you can see, Castus fits on the bike pretty well. He really doesn't sit on it. He just kind of, like, rests on it because of the pegs. Uh, and then, uh, because of his overall sculpt, it's kind of hard for him to sit on it. But uh, he does go on it like this, and it does provide a pretty cool look. So let me uh, take him off the uh, speeder, and I can show you individual things about the character and about the speeder. We'll start with the speeder. Okay, the speeder is a good speed. It's a never before seen sculpt. It's uh, very, very nice. This landing gear, these two, they don't move, okay? These ones just don't move. But it does, actually I take that back. They do move back and forth, back and forth, depending on which way Castus' uh, feet are going. You see like they're slanted, that means he's like leaning forward. But it also has a pull out, uh, 
third third gear for actually standing. Sorry, my hand's a little wobbly. But uh, the handlebars, they do move up and back. Like so. And so does the other one. But the, as far as sculpt goes, you've got the little writing right there. And then you've got uh, another cool little gadget. Uh, keep an eye on that right there. You have slide out blasters on both sides. So cool. That's pretty awesome. So there we have uh, Cassis's speeder. Uh, it's a really, really cool speeder. I like that one. I'm definitely going on the shelves. All right. So now let's take a look at Cassis, the figure. Sorry, I want to get into the right sculpt that I actually want him in. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. After being on a speeder bike, you kind of it kind of gets in a different position. There is Cassis. Come on, focus for me. There we go. But Castus is an overall cool sculpt. Cool sculpt to figure nice a nice little bounty hunter facial expression right there. And uh, as far as articulation, we've got ball hinged uh, uh, knees and a ball hinged hip. So that is really cool. We've also got some swivel wrists. We've got a ball hinged uh, elbow and a ball hinged shoulder. So, but uh, I guess the high point in this figure is the uh, ball hinged uh, hips for the speeder. But um, we don't have any ankle articulation. Once again, that's been a problem with a lot of Clone Wars figures uh, besides Clone Troopers. So I hope Hasbro can fix that in the near future. But what I was upset about is just the way that the entire body sculpt is at a slant. I know his character may have been like that, but it makes it kind of hard to like balance and stand up. I mean, he does stand up fairly well, but it's a little bit hard to balance. And you could put the feet closer together if you want, and he'll stand a little better. But just kind of like the ARF, you know, you have a little bit more trouble positioning him and getting him to stay in the position that you want. But he also does come with his blaster right here, a corner, a uh, tight holster right there. Let me focus it. There we go. So that fits very nicely into his holster right there. As you can see me struggling to pull it out. But as far as it fits in his hand, it came rubber, ban rubber banded into this hand. So this is the hand I'm going to show you. It is a total great fit in his hand. Um, I could see why they put this picture on the packaging of him riding on a speeder and firing at the same time. I think that's really cool and it really works. So that's pretty much it for Castus. Uh, by the way, he does have a ball jointed head. You didn't know it can like move up, down, up. Yeah, ball jointed head. But that's pretty much it for Castus. Uh, he does come with his card and stand and die. So next up will be one of the other two. Uh, deluxe packs. So thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you.